with Ted and you said he tipped the Helgeson shot there. <laughs> that was good to see. He's had a lot of chances, and uh, he can really wire the puck and got a little help, I think, from their centermen. But it, uh, it was a big goal, and you know, I'm glad to see him get his first one out of the way. So you, didn't, you guys didn't convert in the power play, but you got goals kind of off your power play because of the momentum and just, you know, uh, just after penalties expired, it seemed like the key. Yeah, yeah, it was. You know, they could almost both be considered power play goals. But, I, again, I, I just thought our execution, we still look a little, uh, I don't know, a bit rusty from the break or just a little out of sort. We're not uh, uh, the synergy that was there before. Uh, as a group, that five-man unit uh, just doesn't seem to be uh, quite the same uh, as it was when we were uh, we were hopping here. So hopefully it, it gets going, but there's no question both those goals came at the tail end and, and uh, were big goals. Seems like the team's done a good job this year building off of uh, uh, other goals. Uh, it seemed like they come in waves. Uh, that was the case again tonight. Well, uh, you know, I think this team, like you said, has done a good job of, of, of grabbing momentum or taking momentum away. I thought they came, obviously, the end of the, the uh, second period and then the, even the first. But, you know, I know the, the shot differential was pretty big, and that's they got some skilled players and their top guys, Brown and Mealy, those guys were playing a ton at the end. So I thought we uh, took the momentum back away. But, uh, you know, it's huge if you can build off that. And I think this team really um, has done a good job of, of – you know, kind of riding those waves, like you said. Well, what is it with Whitney and Timmons? This just, just seems the chemistry between them just seems to be, to be there. We even I don't know. It's it it is. It has been there, and and um, you know, those are two guys I've kept together. Obviously, Boucher was there, and we moved some guys around. Uh, uh, but you know, they're both smart players. Uh, they're strong on the puck, and they they want it they want to play I, I thought Witt both games he's had a purpose every shift he's not just going out there to uh, get through his shift or, or uh, he wants the puck and he wants to make plays and he's working right now and, and then obviously Timmons has uh, looked good again tonight and it's good to see and they're obviously key guys for us and that chemistry's really been there from day one did you have to think about where you're going to put Sestito today yeah, we were contemplating. We were worried a little bit about a match up there. Yeah. Most of their scoring comes from that top line, and um, I was gonna maybe put them in this slot with uh, Zay Jack and Sislo. Uh, but it certainly gives us versatility and depth. And then I, I knew that for the, they didn't match up all night, but I knew that I wanted to match Pelly and and McKelvey and and Sestito against Melia as, as much as possible, if not Timmins line. And um, you know, obviously it worked out.